Hey everybody, this is Dalvin. Hope everyone is doing good. Today is August 12, 2019, and this is a CD pickup video I'm making. I haven't been making too many CD pickup pickup videos on my YouTube channel the last several months. I did one recently, but I went to two stores today. I went to I went to Sunrise Records in in Scarborough Town Center and to Deja Vu Discs at Kenny Commons. Picked up six CDs, six albums today. I'll show you what I got here quickly. I got a lot of good stuff. So first album CD I picked up was from System of Down. I got Toxicity. And you know, uh, System of Down is a great band. Uh, I'm recently getting back into them. I used to listen to them a lot in my youth. And this is the third album I ever owned from them. I have Mesmerized and Hypnotized, but I got Toxicity here, as you can see. Maybe I'll do some drum covers from this album. But it has good songs like Prison Song, Chop Suey, Toxicity, Aerials, a lot of good songs. So, yeah, System of Down Toxicity is the first album I picked up. Should be a great listen. Uh, the second album CD which I picked up was from Gob. I got Foot and Mouth Disease. It's called the album's called Foot and Mouth Disease from Gob. I used to have the CD when I was younger, but I lost it. And uh, Gob was a pretty good band, inspirational band uh, towards my music taste when I was young. They're a pop punk band from uh, pop punk rock band from Canada, and they have, they, have, they have some pretty good singles, some hits they released, and they, overall they make pretty good music, which is listenable. So yeah, I highly, I highly suggest to check out Gob. If you haven't heard of them, go up foot and mouth foot and mouth disease right here just to show you. And it has good songs like Lemonade, O Ellen, I Cut Myself Too, Ming Tran, Give Up the Grudge. It has some solid songs. And they're a pretty good band. I mean, they I liked them a lot when I was younger, and I can definitely picture myself getting back into them, and listening to them more often from now on. So yeah, I got Gob Foot and Mouth Disease, great band. Now the next band I got, the next CD I got from, uh, was probably my most uh, favorite band as a youth or as an early child was some for, was from Sum Forty One. I got All Killer No Filler from Sum Forty One. The great, they were pretty good at being a pop punk rock band. Their taste has evolved. Quite a bit. I mean, their music style has evolved quite a bit as of late. They recently just released a new album, and and they and they're heading and they headed towards a whole new direction with like hard rock metal. So yeah, uh, some 41 all killer no filler here I got. Let me show you. And I used to listen to this a lot back in the day, back when I was like 12, 13. I used to, or like between 11 to 13 years old, I used to listen to this band a lot. This was probably my most favorite album when I was young. It inspired me a lot for my musical taste. The Sum 41 All Killer No Filler, great album. I highly suggest you check out Sum 41 if you haven't heard of them. Great band. Sum 41 All Killer No Filler. Now, the last three CDs I picked up were heading towards the metal genre. Well, System of Down is metal, but I mean like hard metal, so yeah. Next CD I picked up was from Lamb of God, Ashes of the Awake. I have about two or three Lamb of God albums, but I don't have I don't have Ashes of the Awake well, until, until I picked it up today. And it's got great songs like Lay to Rest, Now You Got Something to Die For, Omerta, Remorse is for the Dead. Has some really good tracks, some heavy tracks. Probably one of their best albums, Ashes of the Awake. So yeah, Lamb of God, great American metal band. I love them a lot. And that's this is one band I've never seen live. I've seen almost every band live. One band I've never seen was Lamb of God, so yeah, Lamb of God. Ashes of the Awake should be a great listen. Just to show you here. Next CD album which I picked up, and keep in mind I got all these albums for a pretty good deal. Uh, most of them were used, and only one of them was new. So I got Iron Maiden Dance of Death. So yeah, just I adding to my Iron Maiden collection. And I love Iron Maiden, they're a great band, a great metal band, they inspired so many bands or and they started they 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 they've done so many things with their music, inspired so many people and musicians and genres. So yeah, it's Iron Maiden Dance of Death. Just to add to the collection. Just to show you here. And this is probably like my, I don't know, fifth or sixth Iron Maiden album I own now. My collection is coming quite nicely and I'll uh, probably look to add more in the future. And, uh, and I'll save the bad boy for last. 
the album which I got new at Sunrise Records just got released a couple days ago I got from Slipknot We Are Not Your Kind now I didn't like Slipknot when I was younger even when I got into metal I didn't like them so much but lately I've been listening to them the last couple of years several years they grew on me especially when I saw them live at Heavy TO 2012 and yeah Slipknot great new metal band Corey Taylor they have new masks uh, they're doing the crazy stuff as usual so yeah, this is supposed to be a great album, it's supposed to be one of their best, from what I heard. We Are Not Your Kind Slipknot. And yeah, this will be a great list, and I'm going to be, I'm going to be playing this on my iPod a lot in the next couple days or so. Once I get it installed or ripped to my computer. So yeah, Slipknot, We Are Not Your Kind. So yeah, I got six CDs, six albums today. I'm going to have to try to find some space to put my iPod. I might practice some songs for a drum cover from one of these bands, who knows. These are my CD pickups for today. Hope you like it. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much, everybody. Stay metal. Bye-bye.